uh, we are uh, today analyzing coup d'etat in Africa, and of course, uh, uh, we are conversant of the fact that the world has greatly evolved, and today we are looking at uh, coups in a more globalized uh, society. Uh, from your perspective as an international uh, political consultant, uh, we want to have your own uh, perspective regarding the the recent coup d'etat in Africa, and of course, see if it's uh, the, the evolvement in the world that has le uh, led to a more globalized world uh, accounts for the reason why uh, there is. Because in our preamble, we highlighted the, the fact that more and more Africans have become uh, a civic consciousness, like uh, th they want us to actually be part of the total transformation of that country, like Dr. Eddy uh, highlighted, wanting to engage with the hope of seeing uh, a, a more positive transformation and a clear defined uh, democracy. So in your perspective, uh, what do you have to say regarding the latest uh, 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 development in Africa's political sphere, especially in the areas, uh, the area of military takeovers? Well, first of all, I think we, uh, should definitely take heed of what Dr. Edie said. Uh, those military takeover as such uh, might express first and foremost a desire to uh, see some change happening, but uh, change for uh, the sake of change, unless it is followed up by fundamental policies, which allow, uh, even if it's in a transition period, which sees uh, plurality of opinion being somewhat shoved aside, but if the policies themselves allow the population to uh, benefit more fully of their riches and to realign the uh, economic uh, uh, configurations that have thus far deprived uh, most of the African, at least the uh, Francophone Africa, of uh, the full share of the pie, uh, then this, those coup d'etat will be for nothing. And so on that respect, uh, I would say that uh, the jury is still out and we will have to see uh, to what extent we are witnessing a fundamental uh, earthquake in uh, the uh, regional uh, uh, power sharing power structures. Uh, I will only say that uh, what's interesting is that all the uh, recent uh, changes uh, in the countries that you've mentioned, i.e. Uh, Guinea, uh, Burkina Faso, uh, Mali, now Gabon, uh, we seem to be seeing somewhat of a, uh, a willingness to stick together and somewhat come to each other's uh, rescue to shore up uh, the uh, political changes uh, in case there would be somewhat of a reaction, you know, uh, which would aim to invalidate. I mean, I take it, for instance, that in Mali, we just found out that uh, a couple of days, or in uh, Niger, I should say, a couple of days after the uh, the, the recent coup, uh, there was it would seem an attempt to uh, coup the coup themselves. You know, so uh, obviously there's a lot of players behind the scenes who are angling uh, for control uh, through proxy, and uh, we have to be very cautious. Uh, we also have to be cautious about what we witnessed in the Middle East in the uh, early 2010s. Uh, with a, a lot of hopes that uh, uh, those uh, uh, regime change were from uh, coming from the uh, bottom up, when in fact it turned out that they were engineered from abroad, and it's what, it was just basically an issue of retooling uh, the facade so as to uh, put into place you know new faces which would basically pursue the same policies. So let us be uh, hopeful. Let us hope that uh, you know fundamental and Deep, uh, stru deeply structured policies uh, will be implemented as a result of the recent political changes, which will allow the population to really get access to uh, prosperity and uh, development in a way that their uh, wealth would you know, allow them to. Uh, but uh, let's not be, uh, let's not be, you know, uh, let's not go too fast in the analysis and uh, think, uh, you know, that this is, uh, uh, pretty much over you know it's just the beginning now more you know it's only the beginning and and obviously uh, uh, we are likely to see more changes taking place 
it seems to be a, a, a phenomenon that has taken a life on its own. I don't think Gabon, since we will talk about it, is the last domino to quote and of quote fall. And, uh, you know, in that respect, uh, uh, let's be cautious in, uh, you know, analyzing what uh, what is going on right now.